Barry Allen. I am the fastest man alive. Good evening everybody, how are you all doing? I hope we're having a good week so far. So today is Monday, sorry, Monday? No, not Monday. Wednesday, the 6th of May, 2015. And we are back with the latest episode of The Flash. Episode 21, two more to go to the season finale. Grodd lives. And Grodd certainly does live. He lives in the sewers of Central City. And may I say, damn good work on Grodd. Seeing him in his full... Well, in his fullness... <laughs> um, was brilliant. Um, you definitely don't want to be going down the sewers with that down there, that's for sure, um, but really well done. Um, so the episode opens up with a uh, heist being taking place, someone is going around the uh, central city stealing gold bars, um, we don't know why, and then later on we do find out what is actually happening, um, and it involves Harrison Wells, um, or Eobard Thorne, um, as we as we know him to be now, because he is the reverse Flash. Um, but when uh, the Flash catches up to this gold bar thief, um, it's not who they expect it to be, they were expecting it to be some sort of metahuman, but it turns out it wasn't a metahuman after all. Um, but at the same time, I'm still I'm still geeking out over seeing Grodd. I mean, we've seen bits of him previously, but to see him in the flesh like that was just superb. And that, I have to admit, very first time that we've ever seen a live action Grodd. Um, yeah. Well, first time that I've seen a live action Grodd. I don't know if it was a case of the 90s version of The Flash with uh, John Wesley's ship, but um, for me, yeah, very first time I've seen um, Grodd in the flesh like that, and uh, wow, really did scare the shit out of me. <laughs> um, oh, of course, big news, although I was slightly shocked at a couple of the things that happened, but big news, Iris now knows that Barry Allen is the Flash. Um, if you all saw last week's episode, you would have understood, you would have caught what happened. Um, when Barry was in hospital, there was a spark, and then again, when he went to go and find Eddie Thorne after Eddie got taken by Eobard, again, that spark was there instantly, Iris knows. It's interesting how it takes 20 episodes for Iris to find out that Barry's a flash, whereas in Smallville it took up until about season six for Lana to find out, and then season nine for Lois to find out <laughs> that Clark and Superman are the same person. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and of course there's Arrow where, well pretty much everybody knows that Oliver Queen is Arrow. Um, so yeah, very interesting how quick these things develop. But then again, given that Man of Steel already allows Lois to find out that he, Clark and Superman are the same person pretty much from the get go, I guess it's starting to become the norm now. <laughs> but no, seriously, it was... Um, it was good that Iris now knows, um, although she wasn't particularly happy with Barry and also her dad. Um, she pretty much gave Barry a huge pet talk about the whole thing. Um, but for me, the biggest shock for me was when she just turned up at Star Labs unannounced. There's Barry getting looked at by uh, by by Caitlin Snow after he's running with this uh, masked gold bar thief and. Um, it's like, okay, that I didn't expect. I was not expecting Iris to just walk in like that. Didn't expect it whatsoever. Um, she did try her best to try and get Barry to, you know, tell her what's really going on. And uh, when she was getting worried about Eddie um, and stuff. So when that didn't happen, she thought, well, you know what, stuff you, you're not going to tell me. I'll find out for myself then, won't I? Um, so yeah, so she's pissed off with both Barry and her dad. Uh, but later on, 
as the episode progresses and as Barry tussles with Grodd, um, it really does. Uh, she really does come round in some in certain ways to the uh, to the idea. Although by the end of the episode, her feelings kind of change again. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, without giving too much away, uh, we do see Harrison, uh, well, Eobard and Eddie. Um, he's got Eddie locked somewhere, and we actually find out pretty much where. He's got Eddie locked up, which is where he stashed Eddie, where, where Eobard and Eddie are stationed, essentially. Um, and I couldn't believe it when, at the very, very end, we saw what we saw. Um, again, not going to give it away, but, um, yeah. Eobard reckons he may be going home. Wouldn't be too, in too much of a rush just yet, my dear boy. And people after you. And speaking of people, we have seen the, uh, the preview for next week's episode titled Rogue Air. And uh, two special guest characters arrive, none other than Firestorm and, um, well, the Arrow. So it's going to be interesting how when Arrow plays tonight in the States, the 20th, 21st episode titled This Is Your Sword. Uh, no, actually, wait, not the 21st, the 22nd. It's the second to last episode of season three of Arrow tonight in the States. So yes... We will find out exactly how Oliver, or Al Sahim, as he's now known, breaks out of uh, the control of one Ra's al Ghul, seeing as he's going to be featured in next week's episode of The Flash. Because there's no way that that episode of The Flash takes place before the events of the last two episodes of Arrow that we've seen already, especially with the costume that he's wearing. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Of course, I won't find out till tomorrow evening when I watch it. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. But anyway, back to the Flash. Um, yeah, two more episodes to go, and it has been a rock and roll e uh, season for me. It's been fantastic. Um, as I said, I did say, was it last month or the month before, I think in March, I did say that I've got an announcement to make regarding The Flash, Arrow, pretty much all the DC Comics TV side of things um, and stuff. So um, when I do my season finale, season three finale of Arrow is pretty much when I'm going to announce what I'm going to, what, what, what I want to say. So um, that's in that's next week Wednesday okay so next week Thursday even sorry because obviously Arrow airs on Wednesday nights in the States so next week Thursday is when I will give you my um, announcement essentially so anyway back to the flash again um, but no seriously kudos to the to everybody involved and how Grodd looks on screen he looks amazing um, did you all see the Watchtower by the way Smallville fans, if you caught it, good on you. Um, yes, that was the Watchtower, by the way. Um, it was a King Kong moment for me, <laughs> to be fair, even though it was the Watchtower. But yeah, very much a King Kong moment. Um, so interesting, indeed. But seriously, no, it was good to see that uh, the, the the Watchtower on the on the Flash. Doesn't necessarily mean that you know it's the same universe as what Smallville was in, but we dare to dream, right? Of course. Anyway. That's it from me. I hope you all enjoyed the episode as well. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all very soon. Bye.